Yeah! Here we are in this beamer! Woo! So he picked up a 2008 BMW 335i. With what package? It is black, on black and tool leather interior. It has the sport package, it has the premium package, and it has the cold weather package. It's got every, so basically it's got every option except for the convenience package, uh, which is the hands-free, no key. Uh, other than that, yeah, it's got everything. It's got the adaptive headlights, uh, the turn with the road, uh, the, uh, the uh, projections, and it's got the uh, sport tuned suspension with the sport package. The sport package also comes with uh, the different steering wheel. Uh, it's a six-speed six manual. Cars all stock. It's got 300 horsepower and 300 pounds of torque. Uh, peak torque is at 1400 RPMs uh, with the twin turbos, so uh, it gets up and goes pretty quick to begin with. Yeah, it's a very, very responsive car. I mean, it gets up and goes. There's not really no turbo lag when you got on it. Not really, unless you're cruising on, on idle speed. So there's a couple of times we've just been uh, cruising on the interstate and then I get on it in sixth gear and you can feel the turbo lag at that point. Uh, but it's, it's not too bad. Of course, I've only been driving it now for 10 minutes, so. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, did do a test drive earlier first before yeah. we bought the car. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so the, the car has a, a come standard with the automatic roll down windows for all four, all four windows up and down. Um, Sorry, the pr part of the premium package uh, is the upgraded stereo, so it's got the Logic 7, 13-speaker uh, uh, stereo in it. It's got two sub, two eight-inch subwoofers underneath uh, each front seat. Uh, this car came stock with run flats, so there is no spare or uh, jack or anything in the back. Uh, and they replaced the tires recently, the previous owner. However, they did not replace them with run flats. So that's up that's up in the air. Yeah. But we still got some money back. We yeah. talked them down some. We talked them down a little bit. We were able to get them, get them down. There is a little there's a little dent and scuff uh, on the back side of the car. So we were able to talk them down a couple a couple hundred dollars, uh, which was nice from what we originally agreed on before we met. Well, over and all though the car is in perfect brand new shape. Yeah, so it's got 90,520 miles currently. Um, it's the lowest miles out of all of the 335Is that I've been looking at within, uh, you know, a 250 mile radius from Knoxville, Tennessee without, uh, or without going over 14,000 miles, or $14,000. So what's the first thing you're gonna do to it? Uh, most likely tint the windows is gonna be the first thing. Um, black interior on a black car, it's gonna get hot inside, so we're definitely gonna need to have those yeah. window, windows tinted. Especially with it leather. Yeah. With the winter package, it comes with heated seats. I'm still not positive if it, if it has uh, cooled seats or not. I know some of them did come with that. Uh, we haven't really dove into everything yet, so. But after that, definitely be the JB4, uh, the juice box. So get that in. It's about $500. Uh, and then it, there's, it runs, I believe, seven different maps. There's a bunch of different little things you can do with your car, setting a, a shift light, uh, setting your uh, fuel gauge, turning that into a boost gauge. Uh, so there's a lot of different little options that you can do uh, within within the GV4. Uh, and it puts out, or on the highest and most aggressive map, uh, it can build up to 100 more horsepower just out of all stock car, the whole stock car. And after that, of course, we'll go down pipes in, in intake. Then have a dyno tuned up. I won't, I won't need to have a dyno tuned at that point because I'll have the, J, the JB4 is meant to run on down pipe and, and, and exhaust and intake. But you're so, going to get more power out of a dyno tube. Well, that's the JB4 is. It's Sorry. off the shelf. Yeah. But you don't need off the shelf. You need an actual proof well, yeah. in front of them and boom. If I did an actual tune, I might be able to squeak out maybe another 10 horsepower and say. Maybe more. Maybe more. You never know. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, we'll see. I still have 
to this is this of course I've, I've always been a, a Japanese Honda guy so I mean this is completely out of my realm uh, you finally got out of Hondas it's gonna be a whole new experience hey I love Hondas I had my last car was the S2000 and I love to have the utmost utmost respect for it however I need something bigger so and faster and, and faster yeah <laughs> Luckily, Twin Turbos does the trick. Like in the video that I have on my channel already, where I gave the S2005 cars head start. That's him. Oh that. shit, look at that. Turn that thing completely sideways. How do you do that? No. Oh, Rick. Up, trying to catch his brother now. But overall, out of a 10, I'd give his car a solid 8. Probably a 9 once it gets clean. Yeah, that's the that's the biggest thing. Man, if you're selling a car, clean the free clean the car before you show it, man. Yeah. That, that that's gonna that's gonna just you know reinforce your price that you're that you're wanting for the car, and it's gonna make the buyer that much more enthused. When you show up to a to, to a person, someone buying your car and it's, and it's dirty as, as heck, man, that, that automatically turns the buyer off immediately. So, yeah, because this thing was dirty. I mean, you can tell they haven't washed this car in forever. So, I mean, blacks, I know blacks are hard to keep clean, but hey, if, if you have a black car, at least wash it the day up. Yeah, I mean, you can at least, you can at least take. 10 minutes out of your time before you go meet the person to sell it, yeah. to at least spray it off. Yeah. So, that's right. I, I keep my cars extremely clean when I sold my S2000. Uh, I, that thing was just beautiful. I buffed it several times, I waxed it several times before I sold it. So when the buyer came up, you couldn't you could wipe the smile off his face. And I, I had it from the beginning. There was no negotiating the price. It, it,
coming for you. Coming, baby. Coming. Yeah, I knew what happened to him once from it. Yeah, you already got beat by a 335 I too. Now you're just going to get beat by a four door. So. <laughs> and it is what it is, I guess. I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm fine looking over at you. It's a 6.3, man. Yeah. <laughs> AMG. Yeah. I'm not going to get over that. Thank <laughs> you. 